So let's just model a basic floor plan. We're going to start by going into the view that looks at it from straight above. I'm going to move the whole thing over so I can see what I'm looking at. Draw a rectangle. Remember, click once, let go, click again. Now, before I click, I'm going to actually type in the dimensions I want. So in this case, I'm going to type in 8 feet by 20 feet, and then hit enter. I did that backwards, so I'm going to do it again and do it 20 feet by 8 feet. So just undo as your friend. A little too big. Zoom out. So I've got the bottom of my floor plan. The other tool that's really helpful is the offset tool. Um, and that's this one. Nope, that is this one. And you basically pick a shape and then it will offset um, the, the direction you want to go. So I'm going to actually um, offset out and I'm going to put my six inch walls like we uh, suggested. And now I've got the walls. Um, in my simple floor plan, I have a wall separating the bedroom from the living area, the bedroom and bathroom separating from the bedroom, and the living room area, and the, the space here is about seven feet. So I'm going to go down to my dimension tool and pick this room, and you see I get this dotted line. I'm going to set that for seven feet. So now I have a guide for how big it should be. I'm also going to just include the thickness of those walls at six inches, so I have that frame of reference too. I can go ahead and start drawing this using the pencil tool. I can just select that point and that point, that point and that point. And I've got two now I've got the start of those walls. Obviously I need a door. Um, if you if you kind of go this way, you'll see that you get to a point and it finds the midpoint. Um, I can use this to, for example, um, draw a line there or what I'm going to do is this I'm going to use the midpoint and my door is going to be 36 inches and I want it to be centered so I'm actually going to draw my I'm going to draw I'm going to draw my line until it hits the midpoint so that's the line for the midpoint now I can measure 18 inches on either side and that will give me my three, my 36 inch door, 18 feet inches. Now I'm just being very conscious about when I type inches and feet, because if you get it wrong, it'll sort of backfire on you. But command, command Z is, control Z is always what you need to do. So I'm going to draw two lines here. Okay, so now I've got the start of this big room and the and the other room. The other thing I want is this little tiny bathroom. And so I'm going to measure, I'm going to draw another line that measures about, I don't know, let's make that, it's an eight foot space. Let's make this uh, three feet. Is that, let's see if that's too big. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to um, use this tool and make it about three feet. Okay, so it's approximately there. And then I can also do my offset for the six inches. Actually, that's exactly where that line is. So that works out perfectly. Um, I'll draw my lines in. And then the last thing is, obviously there needs to be a door here. So I'm going to offset, and I'm not gonna make it 36 inches because that's really big. This is just gonna be kind of a door you duck into. I'm going to make it 2.5 feet, uh, which is a little smaller than a standard door. Um, and then draw a little line here. Okay, now I've got a lot going on with this, these geometry lines. Uh, I've got a lot going on with cross lines. One of the things you can do is go into these glasses and you can click off the guidelines. So you can click them on if you want to see them or click them off if you don't. The other thing I'm going to do is go into my select tool and actually just get rid of these tiny, using the delete key, 
I'm just going to get go and get rid of these tiny lines that I don't need. I do want that. Oops, I made a mistake here. I do want that line, but I don't need this line and this line. You see, I'm going to get rid of that. It's hard to see because there's a an axis there, but um, oops, I actually made another mistake. Um, okay, so I do want that line, but I want to get rid of this is going to be my door. So I'm going to get rid of this one and this one. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. Oops, again, this one and this one and this one. So you've kind of got this sort of open space here where you've got all your all your rooms kind of mixing. We can put a door there if we want, maybe a sliding door here. I mean, I haven't gotten that far yet. I just wanted to kind of in, illustrate the basics. So you'll know you've gotten all your lines when you select and the whole area is selected. So you see this part is missing. So that means I've missed this line, which I'll delete now. And now when I click on it, everything is selected. So that's what I'm looking for. And what I'm going to do now is build my walls. So I'm going to go to the offset tool, the, sorry, the push pull tool, which is here. And I'm going to select that area and then I'm going to pull it up. I'll twist it so you can see what I'm doing. So I've extruded that whole space and I'm going to make it a standard eight feet high. And now I've got my, my walls.